is where the venom is coming from. So I just have to be extremely careful. You can see they've actually got quite large fangs. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous still because I don't want to be stung by a scorpion. Welcome to a new video. This one, as you can see, is very different to the other ones that I've got. People that don't know me already, my name is Jack Randall. I'm a zoologist. I study wild animals. I'm particularly passionate about conservation of endangered species. And I also have a TV show on Disney Plus. So if you've got Disney Plus, you can check it out. It's called Out There with Jack Randall. Every single episode that's in the first series is all based in Australia where I get to meet all the different cool animals that are out in, in the outback. I am like the rest of you in isolation away from coronavirus. This is where I do all my plannings, plan my adventures, got my maps, my books. People ask me all the time, are you scared of anything? It looks like you're not. Ooh, there are bats in it. Whoa, loads of them. Man, there's a whole heap of them. I might see if I can go in there. Whoa, wow. Yeah, it's, it's like they're about to come out. They go straight to my face. But, oh, whoa, jeez, dude. Oh my God. Actually, you know, over the years, I, I've managed to cope with some of my fears. There's one way that you can do that, and that is by knowledge. So the more that you understand something that you might be afraid of, the less you actually fear it. Now, there's many animals that I meet out in, in the wild. You might have seen it in some of the videos that actually I'm a little bit creeped out by them, um, look a little bit nervous. Over time, with every single species, the more that I work with them, the more they understand them, the less that I'm actually scared. So I'm going to try and bring out three different animals that you might be scared of, give you some facts about them, and we'll get to learn more about these different animals. By the end of this video, hopefully, you'll be less scared of them if you are right now. There's one other thing that I should say as well, that this video is supporting a charity called Doctors Without Borders which is a super cool charity. If you can imagine the health services that we've got in, in, in the developed countries, such as the US, Australia, UK, they're really being stretched because there's so many people getting ill because of the coronavirus. Now you can imagine in the less developed countries, these countries that don't have a very a big infrastructure in the, in the health service, how they can be impacted by pandemics like coronavirus. Doctors Without Borders provides the resources to these very places that really needs it the most. And you should check them out. There's more information in the description about them. Without further ado, I'm gonna bring out three different creatures that you might be scared of. And by the end of this video, you will hopefully fear them less. Come on, let's go. Right, oh, here we go. You can guess which one this is. Tarantula. Look at him hiding in the little log there. Right, so I've got my little GoPro here so we can get some close ups of the tarantula. Oh, you're being very. Here you come. Out you come. You have to be very, very gentle with tarantulas. They're extremely delicate. Come on. You can see the way. I'm okay. sense every single bit. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Wow. There you go. Tarantula. Many people are extremely scared of tarantulas. And when I first found one of these out in the wild, I was also extremely scared of them. These are one of the biggest spiders out here in Australia. Some people call it the bird-eating spider and a bite from one of these can cause vomiting for up to eight hours. Ah! If I move too quickly, it might go down into the aggressive mode again. Ah! Guys, really be gentle and don't move quick, because the spider will sink its fangs in me. Kind of creepy just the way that they move around the more that i've understood tarantulas actually i really love them i think they're extremely cute they're very very delicate like i say they they can feel every single bit of movement you see these front um they look like legs but they're not actually legs they're called pedipalps and they use them to be able to sense the environment tarantulas as well like all spiders are venomous one thing that might make you less scared of them there's no tarantula out there that can actually kill you. Their, their venom is really only used to, to, to subdue and kill their prey. 
And if you look right at the front of the, the, the tarantula there, there's, there's these two, they're called chelicerae, um, but you can see they've actually got quite large fangs. And they are used to inject into their prey and kill them. That venom is also used to actually digest their prey. What's really cool about tarantulas is that they only have, their mouth parts don't have any teeth. It's, it's more like a straw, so they actually suck in their prey. So they use their venom to digest before they actually take it into their body, slurping up their prey. And that prey could be all sorts of different other invertebrates. The other cool thing about tarantulas is that I, ooh, you have to be really sensitive, like careful, like I say. Unlike all the spiders that you might know, they don't build webs in order to catch their prey, but they do still have spinnerets on the back. So they've got spinneret on the back and they create silk. And that silk is used to line their burrows, but the ones that live up in the trees, they actually live in these kind of silk tubes, silk tents. So they're really, really cool animals. Those are the few facts that I think uh, makes me really kind of respect the tarantula and also be less scared of them. There's nothing to be afraid of, it really isn't. They're absolutely incredible animals, I just love them. Kind of, I don't know, it's just a fascination with them, just the way they move, it's incredible. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Hello. And those fangs at the front, they're really quite long as well. Um, so when you first see, oh, you see them smooth, oh. Oh wow. Did you see that? That, I have no idea what was going on there. That's something that I, again, I didn't know that what they did. So he's actually starting to move his fangs a bit. So I reckon he's getting a little bit agitated. I'm gonna put him back in his log. Put you back into your little house. All right, I'm gonna bring my next creature, which is also kind of creepy. It is an arachnid, but it isn't a spider. Oh, here we go. Next one. Okay. I, it, it, it's funny, because it, the scorpions still slightly creep me out. Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. Oh dear. I might look scared, and yeah, I am certainly scared. Because I don't know what it feels like to be stung by a scorpion. Something about their behavior. See that? I've never been stung by a scorpion. So, um, I'm not, I actually don't know what it feels like to be stung by one. But this here, large scorpion. They are also arachnids, so they're very closely related to our tarantula. Now, the difference is obviously the stinger on the back and that is where the venom is coming from, right there. And the front, you can see they've got these pincers. The larger the pincers on the scorpion, usually it means they're less venomous. They actually use those pincers in order to subdue their prey rather than using a venom. So if you see a small pincered scorpion, the chances are that it's much more venomous than, than this one, for example, which is actually mildly venomous. Still definitely don't want to be stung by this one. There's amazing things that will maybe hopefully let, make you fear them less. So there's some cool stuff, particularly around their mating behavior. When they find the female, so just like the tarantulas, the males will be out there wandering from the females. And sometimes they go really huge distances in order to find the female. And when, oh, see that, the way they move is actually incredible. Amazing. So what, what it does, the, 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 tr the scorpion, also extremely, extremely sensitive to your breath. And you can see I'm a little bit nervous still because I don't want to be stung by a scorpion. And you might have seen my other video of Out in the Wild when I found one of these. Had started off with my gloves and then the scorpion ended up on my bare arm and uh, I was really, really scared. No one really knows exactly why scorpions glow in the dark, but they have a, a oh, 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 oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, ah, ah. But 
To be honest with you, they've been very, very, very calm. All the scorpions I've ever handled. This one looks a little bit more jittery. So I just have to be extremely careful. What I was saying is that the males, when they find their females and they, they have this kind of courtship display, they dance, they go side by side, sideways and backwards. That's how they, they kind of court the female. Now, the amazing thing is as well, is that the females, when they give birth, they can give birth up to a hundred little live young. They're actually extremely maternal. So the females will have their little baby scorpions on the back of their, on their back for up to 50 days and feed them until they're large enough to go out off into the wild. So they're really quite incredible animals. Definitely don't underestimate any invertebrate, including a scorpion. I'll put you down. Onto the map. There you go. So hopefully I have shown that there's less to fear with a scorpion. The fact that firstly, if you come across one, you'll know whether they're particularly more venomous or not. And they definitely won't chase you. That's the thing. Look at that, just completely calm. So I'm gonna put him back now. That's been enough time. I'll bring out my next animal, which also you might think is scary, but there's nothing to be scared of. All right, the last animal. This one, you probably have not seen them out in the wild. It's a giant millipede. These are really, really cool. All those tiny little legs, hundreds of little legs in order to move around. You think about all the different animals out there, there's only a few that actually have more than eight legs, for example, with the tarantulas, and these have hundreds. If you saw one of these, you might be scared. Firstly, there's absolutely zero to be scared of with, with these giant millipedes. They are harmless, unlike a centipede. So the big centipedes, the scolopendral centipedes that you might see, they are actually venomous and they can cause extreme pain if they actually bit you. But a giant millipede, they don't bite and they're vegetarians, they have no venom. Whoa, look at this, a giant millipede. This is weird, so creepy looking. This is the biggest millipede I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look at that, the way he's using all those tiny little legs to move around me. Really quite gentle, those legs. It's kind of like a little bit of a tickle. They eat on decayed leaves, so they're actually extremely important with the recycling of, of, of leaves that have fallen down to the ground and getting that all that organic matter back into the soil. So they provide a really important function in the ecosystem. And this, you might think that this is an absolute beast of a millipede and it really is one of the largest millipede species in the world currently but 400 million years ago there used to be giant millipedes that were up to two meters in length huge giant millipedes so these days you only get them this size but back in the day when there was dinosaurs etc or way before dinosaurs actually there were huge invertebrates giant millipedes well there you go Hopefully those three different animals that you might have been a little bit scared of. The firstly, the tarantula, um, and then the scorpion, and then the giant millipede. All of these invertebrates that give you a little bit of the eebie-jeebies. But I think the more that you get to understand them, the less you are actually scared of them. But even then, and those two times with the tarantula and the scorpion, I'm learning new things. And if there's something new that happens, I'm a little bit scared, a little bit um, afraid. So I, I'm trying to understand them every single time I work with these animals. And that's the same for you, I hope that you're still learning about um, anything that you're particularly scared of. And you're still learning about the fact that the isolation that we're all going through is really, really important. And everything that we're doing is, is helping save people's lives. The more that we, we, we are distancing socially, that in the, only a few months, maybe, um, we'll be absolutely fine. I'll be back out in a while making the videos. And actually the other thing that I am doing is the fact that I've made lots of um, new videos that will be released soon. These are, have been filmed before the coronavirus pandemic. So check them out and all the other videos. If you are new to this channel, check out all the different videos that I've got of all the animals that I'm meeting out in the wild. See you next time.